All right, so what's going on guys? It's your boy here and I'm back with another GTA video on the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a guide how to unlock the secret Navy revolver. Now for this, you're gonna have to do something. It's called the Las Sentinel Slasher. And there's little Easter eggs across the map and I'm gonna guide you guys through exactly the steps, how to do it. Now keep in mind for this challenge, not only will you get this secret Navy revolver, but you will also receive $200,000 and you'll unlock an exclusive discoverable weapon in Red Dead Online, which is pretty dope. Okay guys, so clue number one, is gonna be right here in this location. Now pretty much it's going to be next to this big barn and you're just going to want to walk right up to it and then it says can you find me and then you press it to examine it to examine the clue and then it just shows like a closer view of it and then you're just going to want to press exit and then it'll say on your screen clues investigated one out of five now clue two is going to be right over here next to this tire in this garbage bag and it's going to be pretty crazy when you see it because it's actually going to be a hand. Yeah, it's actually going to be a hand. Now, they're not all the same things as you guys would. You're thinking like it's going to be like writing on the wall. No, they're all different from like a slasher. It's pretty much like a serial killer. And then you just do the same thing. Just examine it. And then after you're done, press X to this is clues investigated two out of five. All right now, clue number three is going to be up here next in this pretty much this big barn. That's kind of like wore down and stuff. Now you're just going to want to walk up to it. And you're going to see a machete. Like a bloody machete just chilling in the wall. Looks like something out of Friday 13th movie. Actually it is happy. Happy Friday 13th by the way. Because it's uh, Friday 13th today. But yeah it's clue number three. You just examine it just like the previous two. And then it'll say clues. Discovered three out of five. Clue number four is going to be in Pleto Forest. In between these two buildings. And you're just going to want to walk right up to, it looks like a little outhouse right there, and it's pretty much a bloody hand. You're just going to do the same thing, examine it, it's going to show you a close-up image of it, Zoom, zoomed in on the bloody hand, and it's going to say clues investigated 4 out of 5. Now here's where it kind of gets a little bit tricky, because there's going to be 5 possible different locations, which I'll show you guys every single one in this video. Now, it spawns different for everyone, so you could get it on the first one, second, third, fourth, or fifth, but just know it's in one of those possible locations. And what you're going to want to keep an eye out for is a black van, and inside the black van, the doors will be open there'll be some blood and stuff in there you'll see it you'll notice it and yeah that's how you know you'll find it okay, so the first location possible location is going to be over here next to the railroad tracks and as you guys can see it wasn't here for me but it'll be right here on that little where the wood and stuff's at right there that's exactly where it'll be at and pretty much you just investigate if you see it the back door will be open and yeah it's the possible location uh, number five or number one out of five for the fifth clue now the next one is going to be exactly underneath a bridge now you should see it right away next to the train tracks if you don't it's not there obviously now moving on for the third possible location is going to be over here next to this gas thing then this pro big it's like a huge like water tank thing and then it's going to be like a red propane looking tank and it should be right behind it, it literally if it's not right there behind it then it's not there all right, now clue number four, this is where it spawned for me, guys, is going to be at Ford Zancudo, right outside of Ford Zancudo. Now it'll be right next to a tree, as you guys can see in the gameplay, where the block truck is, and that's exactly what it'll look like, how it looks like when you investigate it and stuff like that. And it's, yeah, it's pretty creepy, isn't it? And um, yeah, pretty much when, when you investigate all the clues, though, you'll get a text, which I'll go over in one second. And yeah, pretty much it's, it's pretty creepy. But the next location, guys, possible location is going to be over here, right above Ford Zancudo. And it's going to be in this general area, so just look around for a bit, just right here. It's not too far from where I'm driving at, around my presser. So just make sure you guys keep your eyes out for that black van right around this location. Okay, guys, now once you do find the van, you're going to get a text from the slasher. He's pretty much going to say, I'm sick of you sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Now, I'm not going to lie, what happens next won't be nice for you. All right, guys, now, once all the clues have been found, you wait for the killer to spawn and he's going to be trying to kill you and he'll keep trying to ambush and kill you but he will only spawn in Blaine County at night between 7 p.m. and 5 a.m. Now once he does he comes freaking out of nowhere just charging at you just be prepared just in case maybe you have a shotgun or something else, something quick you can kill him with now yeah just, that's pretty much all you gotta do is when, when he runs up on you you just kill him and literally that is it now when you kill him it'll say you have you now own the navy revolver and you also get fifty thousand dollars but it's not over yet now next the last part guys you're gonna have to do is literally just only get 50 kills with the navy revolver and as soon as you do you'll get rewarded two hundred thousand dollars and you'll unlock an exclusive discoverable weapon in red dot online but that's pretty much it guys hope you guys enjoyed make sure to drop a like if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys found this helpful be greatly appreciated also subscribe to the channel so you guys never miss out on future uploads live streams and much more and with all being said let's go wrap it up hope you guys enjoyed have a go on this super drama and i'm out peace